Hey everyone, so tonight I'm doing a review on the Series 6 cable, non-variant. Uh, variant one has the brown boots, and it's a little different, just more brown into him instead of yellow. But yeah, so I'll go ahead and look at the front of the figure, along with his <clears throat> weapon slash, uh, like, I guess like futuristic hover bike. Um, comes with the little stand that helps it hold up. So I'll go ahead and rotate the stand first, comes with little handlebars, little control panel, foot, pa foot uh, holsters. I'll go ahead and turn the figure around. We'll go ahead and go into the details after this. Keep popping out. There we go. There we go. Sorry if I went kind of quick. <laughs> there you go, guys. So we'll go and look at the details of the figure, and then we'll go ahead and go into the cycle. All right. So going up close, looking at his face, I think it's just. This is my favorite cable um, compared to the two-pack one that came out with Hasbro. Um, I just think this is just an all-around just awesome figure. A lot more detail. Um, just this looks like cable to me, where the other one just looks funky to me. I don't know how to explain it, how else to explain it. Um, I just really like this head sculpt. You can see like the blue veins in his neck, uh, the gold in the eye. I just think that looks so cool. The lines etch it onto him. The white hair, really well detailed. Um, I just think that looks so cool. Going along the back of the head, you can see more just really nice head sculpt. I just think that's just awesome looking head, cable face. That looks sick. And he's got this uh, shoulder pad is removable, but it's here. We'll go ahead and, we'll go ahead and look over this first. Uh, like you saw before, um, it just kind of slides into the slot in the back to hold it in place, but it is kind of it's easy to take on and off. That's really nicely detailed. You can see all the bullets along the top here. Uh, it's got some paint scuffish because this is an older figure. But, you know, it's really nicely detailed and painted on the bullets. That's the silver tips. They're all kind of a gold. This looks like leather. You can kind of see it's all kind of scratched up and kind of, you know, it's been, you know, worn. It looks worn down. You can see, like, the buckles, the silver buckles in the front and pins. It's got a little padding in the front around his neck. You can see more of those kind of creases. It looks really cool. You can see another back buckle to help hold the shoulder pads on. I don't know, I just think this looks awesome. Great details. Underneath it's just a smooth plastic. Then going over the rest of the figure, um, it's got the X-Men logos, which I really like on the on his uh, upper chest. You can see more of the blue veins on his arm. It just looks awesome. I actually really like the yellow one. I do like the brown one too, but it's so expensive that I don't know if I'll ever be able to I won't be getting anytime soon, at least. Um, but yeah, so it's got, you can see all the yellow pockets with the little black um, outlining over them. Looks really nice. Um, he's kind of a light blue, which is really cool. Um, they go along the back, see more of the straps. Again, more light blue with some uh, black spray in between. I can see another X-Men logo right there. More pouches along his uh, calves that are all yellow with the black lining. I really like how this arm looks. I just think that looks so cool. Again, um, you can see kind of some of the uh, skin tone uh, plastic underneath that kind of came off with the silver. So just uh, you can see it again in the joint. Just be wary uh, not to work too hard on this guy. That the paint will kind of chip off in time. He is older. Um, probably if you bought him on card and then opened him, it wouldn't be so bad. But yeah, so I just really like the sculpting work of the mechanical arm. I just think it looks so sick. It's a nice, uh, shiny silver, but it just looks awesome. And he's got a little, uh, he's got the blue glove with more of that uh, black spray right there. And then same thing on this arm, you can just see more, like I was saying, uh, more of the veins. It looks really cool. Just, just badass. You can see more of the blue glove with that black spray. And coming down to his legs, he's got more of that uh, black spray on his thighs. Um, I think the boots turned out really cool. Uh, this part's pliable. Um, you can see this kind of has a gap compared to this one. Hmm. Sorry. Just noticed that. Yeah, it's got a little gap. So I don't know if that's a little defect. It looks like it looks like this uh, it was up higher when it's put on. I never noticed that before. <laughs> but yeah, it's got these are kind of pliable. They're like a rubber. Um, they're kind of glued on. Um, it's, I really like how it has the buckles along the side of the boots with the silver. Looks so cool. Looks really nice. And it's got, you can see all the rivets uh, from the boots from being crinkled. Nice tread on the boots. Yeah, it's just all around, it's just really nice. Nicely detailed figure.
definitely worth getting. Um, go ahead and go into the articulation. Head moves left and right. It's on a, a pin, it's a ball joint with a hinge. <laughs> look up that far. Look down. Uh, is on sh the shoulders. I'm going to use this one because I don't want to chip off more paint. Shoulders are on a ball joint, so you can go forward. I mean, out and then forward. He's got a upper thigh, upper bicep swivel. Double jointed elbows work really nice. Uh, he's got wrist rotation and a hinge at the wrist, along with uh, finger articulation. It's just the one hand clamp, which is fine. Uh, he does have an. He doesn't really have much of an ab crunch. At least that I'm not going to force. Uh, this is actually this part's really stuck together, so I'm not going to force it. Uh, but it, others may slide, but mine is not not going, so I'm not going to try to force it. But he's got a, a waist swivel. His legs kick out and they kick to the sides on that uh, Y joint. And he's got an upper thigh swivel. Kind of, ooh, that's interesting. It's up here, just below. He's actually got three, uh, not three, two. He's got a swivel up here, which I cannot seem to get to move. Ah, there it goes. Right there. And then he's got another one right here, just below the pouches. He's got uh, double-jointed jo double uh, knees. Uh, and he's also got a boot swivel. So, wow, so that's so just three. So it's like one, two, three. It's uh, quite a bit. And then uh, feet go up and down. He's got a tiny bit of an ankle rocker. And he's got toe articulation. And pickles to the bottom of the feet. So go ahead and get him uh, standing, and I'll show you how tall he is. Alright guys, so he stands roughly at just above the 6 inch mark, almost 6.5 inches. So he's a little short for that character, but overall, I mean, it's an awesome cable figure. Um, and I and kind of I forgot to go over the bike, so I'm going to go ahead and go over the bike now. So looking over his little hover bike, uh, got to get the camera closer, sorry guys. We're actually just going to move cable out of the way. It's a really nice uh, stand. Uh, it's all kind of like, it's all silver with a little black wash over the whole front, the red in the front. Um, it's got like a little, you know, it's kind of like a Gatling gun in the front. It looks really cool. And then these handlebars do kind of, these handlebars will come off. This paint's kind of chipping off. And these kind of can rotate out as you want him to, depending how you want him to sit on it. So it's got more of that uh, brown padding. But again, look, it's got really nice blues, nice paint job. More like the thrusters. It's pretty cool. I really like the little control panel. I think that looks like that came out really nice. But the other thing it can be used as is a gun too. So you can take these off. I kind of push them on pretty hard. Hang on, guys. I'm gonna break it. Oh, there we go. And you just kind of pull this out from the bottom. You can rotate these back. And if you want to, you can have it almost like a kind of like a shoulder cannon. Uh, it's really heavy though. Um, it's just unnecessary weight to me. Um, I guess you could use leave the handlebars on, but I don't know. That's another way of having it. Um, otherwise, you just sit on it you know, like this. Get the feet out. There's no uh, foot pegs, but he'd be on it like that. But. I don't really use this too much. I have that put away. I just have them up and I use the um, Hope Summers or also Forge uh, gun with him. I think it fits in well. It looks pretty cool. But yeah, so there you go, guys. Um, let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment. Uh, hit the like button. Um, check out my other videos and subscribe. And thanks, guys, for watching. And I hope you enjoyed watching. All right, thanks. Bye.